Dream Fighters and welcome back to another episode. So early this morning I filmed possibly one of the best places I've ever visited. And right now we've drove two hours more to central France to see this mansion. Now this mansion is nicknamed the Assassin's Creed Mansion. Now <clears throat> I have no idea why it's called that. I think it's due to a lot of the architecture and bits around. So as always, so again, we're going to go and explore together, find out whatever we can, look for clues, look for history, and just enjoy ourselves. We're already in this garden, look at this, this looks amazing. I'm loving this. But look at that, it's like a cupid. I'm trying to think what this would look like back in the day without all the vines, whether it would look better than it does now, because I'm really loving these vines on all over the, uh, all the monuments. Oh, this one's fallen over. And this tree, this old tree's collapsed. But here we have a part of the mansion. There's uh, quite a lot to this land. As you can see over there, there's like a, a turret tower. So you know, it's day nine on the European road trip. I mean, I'm constantly road tripping now. So if you haven't already subscribed, consider subscribing. I'm traveling the world, all these different places, magical places to bring them to you. And please consider dropping a like on the video and if you already hashtag team fighter you probably already smashed that like button there's also a blue button called join if you click that you can pay a small monthly fee and you can support hashtag team fighters on the travels around the world because it does cost a lot of money every every penny we, that we make on youtube it all goes straight back into the channel traveling food fuel hotels all this kind of stuff just to bring you guys these videos oh wow it is nice very old look at the old bell there Oh, oh. Oh, it, oh, it works. Shh. You know that car? It's a 309 Peugeot. You know about those, right? Yeah. I used to have one. Yeah. It's a 309 SR, wow. I had a 309 GTI. Oh. Well, that's pretty rare. Keys in it. Really? Good keys in it. Barrel seized up. Hey, hey Wheatman, how much do you want to take that home? Badly. <laughs> Badly. <laughs> it's not in bad nick though, is it? No, it's not. Apart from bumper hanging off. But they hang off anyway. I did, I've never even seen an SR. From the bomber. I mean, if you know your Peugeots, I mean, I've owned quite a few Peugeots well in the past. I've had a 205 GTI, 205 GT, 106 uh, SX, um, 309, 1.9 GTI, and... Um, these are really rare. 309s are really rare and to I find. And I have a 306 GTI 6. Yeah, he has a 306. Only 25 of them left. But, but they are really rare. So let's take a look under the oh, engine. That's mint! These were quick back in I bet, the day. I bet you can get it started, you know. I bet you I could with a battery. Yeah, I bet it'd start straight up. I bet you it would. The back, look. Did you see the bonnet just shut? Yeah. I have to smash mine shut. I can't believe how straight that is. Have you looked inside it? Yeah. To be fair, considering it's been left for so long, it's it's immaculate. <coughs> Nowhere on seat. Um well it's got hun it's got ninety two thousand miles on it. Or is that no ninety two kilometers, yeah, no, so it's done nothing. It's only done about sixty K miles. Jesus, I want it. <laughs> I sorry, bro. You gotta walk around from these. Sorry, you gotta just walk away from them. No, oh, I know, obviously, but I still want it. It's a it's horrible thing to do, having to walk away. But and so we'll make our way inside. is really cool. Oh, look at these vaulted ceilings. That's amazing. I think there's an old press over there. It's an old... for putting corks in of some sort. I can see why they call it the Assassin's Creed Mansion, though. Wow, oh, look at the staircase. Wow. I'm, I'm looking forward to looking for this. Wow, what's this? Old charcoal of drawings. Look, 
Looks pretty good. <laughs> ah, so that's another reason why it'll be called Assassin's Creed Mansion. Oh, well, battle's up, boys! What do they call it? Oh, fencing. 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 Oh, oh, oh. They're ancient. They're ancient. Scary. Oh, wait, stop. They're ancient, these. Are they ancient? Look at David. Oh, these are ancient. Still fun. <laughs> These are going to be about 80, 90 years old. Yeah, so you have all the now. On guard! Oh. <laughs> Yo, Josh! Where are you? Quit, you've missed something! Oh, yeah. You better come find out. Yo, you better get down here, boy, because you got, you got something waiting for you. Let's just go up to him and fight him. Let's go, let's go, Dan. Let's go fight him. Where is he? I think he's in this one. He's in this one over here. Where? No, he's over here. Wow. My friend was like, yeah, this place ain't good. I'm like, I'm gonna go check it out. I'm in the area. And I don't know, to me, I think it's not too bad. Oh, God! Is that a wand? Oh, no, the swords. There's loads of them. Loads? That's why it must be called Assassin's Creed. Exactly. Wait. These more? are these. Yeah, these are all fencing swords. So they're not designed to to make damage, but they're for practicing. But these got to be about 100 years old. There's a load of them. Really? Yeah. I, I missed it? Yep, right next to the pool table. How did I not see them? I didn't go back down there after. Oh, this is cool, man. <laughs> you feel the power within. <laughs> I've gone put it back. I'm just going through. Oh, shit. 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 Oh, no, I want I just stick to your videos. Yeah, don't don't, don't, don't do acting. <laughs> so yeah, that's a that's 100 percent another reason why they call it the Assassin's Creed Mansion because look at all these old fencing swords. I'm making a right mess of this. There you go. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Really cool. Oh, oh. yo. Am I looking at a fossil? I gotta go and tell the rest of the guys. If these are real, did you come over right in the corner? Yeah. Did you look at everything? Well, on here. I thought I did. So, do you see the actual fossils? Oh, no, I didn't see the fossils. Do you Ooh. see the legit fossils there? Uh, oh, shit. The um, uh, million year old fossils over there, yeah. Million year old wow. fossil? Did okay. no one else see that? That is actually a fossil as well. Yeah, no, there's another one as well. Oh my god. These are legit, legit fossils. Don't How do you guys miss found, this? We just found a fossil. How did yeah. you guys miss the swords? Can I touch oh, it? Can I touch it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, touch it. You're touching a million years old. It's actually a really cool mansion. Apart from like all this junk on the floor. Yo, Dan, what is this? Oh, that? no, look at that taxidermy thing. Taxidermy? That there, yes, yeah, a taxidermy uh, I, I ferret. It was a ferret. Yeah, yeah okay. Taxidermy okay. ferret. Oh, okay, it's stuffed. Yeah, that's what they call taxidermy. I was wondering what the heck was this was. No way. That's cool, touch it. Oh, that's weird. It's yeah. So hard. yeah, it's like that bear. The bear we found. Oh, nothing's going to beat the bear. I found something that's going to probably beat everything we found on this trip so far. In this place? In this place. Nah, you're lying. You all skipped it. Huh? You, I skipped everyone, it? Yeah, everyone skipped it. You didn't, I saw you, it. you didn't tell me one yet? I told them. Can you, show, can you show me then? You better hurry up. Yo, I right, can't show me. I can, get the, I can definitely feel the Assassin's Creed vibes here. Now. Because, you know, the dungeon feel, the swords. Okay, I'm still trying to find... Don't just tell you. Alright, yeah. I'm not sure how old it is. It could be a million. <laughs> Ten million years old. But there's a legitimate fossil right there. And we all missed it. 
That's a legitimate fossil. Ancient fossil. Oh yeah, you're right. You are right. So that was super exciting for me to find out. I've never ever found anything that old before. And I never thought I would. A fossil. <laughs> I mean, leave a comment below. What do you think of that fossil? Do you think it was rare? Do you think it was quite a common fossil? I mean, that was quite big to me. Leave a comment below, what do you think? I'm actually super excited to see what everyone says about that fossil. Oh, the rest of the upstairs just seems a bit trashed. <coughs> what have you found, Carl? Anything? Postcards of the uh, huh. the place we're actually in right now. No way. I wonder if it was um, once like a retreat or a, a wedding place or yeah, something. It seems like it. Looks like it looks like the kind of place you had a, we a wedding. Yeah. Interesting. I see you guys, we're still exploring together. We're still finding, trying to find out the history. Oh, look at these books. Wow. Look at these books. I can't find the date on these books. Eighteen thirty. It's such a shame that these old books are just sat around waiting to be destroyed. Look at that. This painting. Oh, in fact, it's a cigar box, isn't it? Yeah, it might be. Oh, look at this piece of furniture. Like Just one. destroyed, no. broken. <laughs> it's just a shame. Looking sorry for itself. It's a shame, but that, I bet that was an expensive piece. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, with, with what we do, you're constantly in two minds. You're constantly battling in your head. You battle against the, should should we rescue this and, and save it from destruction and, uh, you know, annihilation? Because it is inevitable. It's going to get destroyed. Or do we leave it here for people like us to find and film and document? It's hard. It's very hard. It's constantly a battle. It's a lose-lose situation every time. What is that, an old checkers or drafts? That's what we found in that other place. Yeah. Is it checkers? Checkers. What's the difference between checkers and drafts? Drafts the one with all the uh, little statues. No, that's chess. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think checkers and drafts is very similar. Leave a comment below. Yeah, Ed educate me. I don't know. <laughs> I always struggle between that. I've never really known about checkers. I know I'm really good at checkers, but I don't know the difference between checkers and drafts. The only board games I have to play is either Monster Trap. Oh, Snake Sanders. Mouse Trap was, <laughs> hey, Mouse Trap was a classic. I love that game. Oh, I don't not to forget Monopoly as well. Oh, what about Guess Who? Guess Who was, Guess who was a classic. Guess Who was a banger, mate. I love Guess Who. Being in games. <laughs> <laughs> what other ones were there? Oh, Game of Life. Game of Life. Do you ever play Game of Life? I play game of yeah, life. we had them little cars, and then you'd end up going around the around it, and you, you get married, so you get a, a little. Uh, red, no, a little pink person in your car, and you have babies or a boy or a girl, and you put them in the back of your car. Yeah, just like little sticks. Yeah, leave a comment below. Who remembers Game of Life? Who still plays it? Because I think I played it not that long ago, like three years ago. Yeah, yeah. For that. it's a classic. <laughs> well, that's interesting. This horse. Oh, look at this. I think it looks like a secret passage almost. Trashed room. Oh, here's the kitchen. Uh, when was last fooding date? Mm. When does tea even come out there? Uh, no, tea takes a long time. Um, don't really know, bro. Open that fridge, Carl, and have a look. <laughs> 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 Uh, what happened last time, Carl? Open a fridge. No, it's empty, but I'm getting out of here just in case it smells. I actually think one of the coolest things I've ever seen is in there, upstairs. What, from this trip? Mm-hmm. 
We'll see. Yep. We'll see, we'll Josh. See I'm not lying, too. You'll see. He's going to walk us into some kind of spider trap or something. 100% or an all in four. Yep. Typical Josh. Uh, the hell was that? <laughs> Door moving. Did you just fart? <laughs> Why you look at all kilners in there? All them kilner jars. Uh, I've got a field day with them. Wow, these stairs are all lopsided, that's weird. Wow, these stairs are yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think he's talking about the magazines. Unless they're really all comics. And I don't think he's talking about all these mattresses and beds in here. And I don't think he's talking about this kind of Kalashnikov thing. So it's got to be in here. I really don't know. What would he be talking about? I really don't know what he's talking about. They're probably sweating inside. I know, I shouldn't really touch them, to be fair. If that was off your mind, I don't have an answer. What is it? We're finding so much live ammunition around here. Does it not worry you a little bit? Well, I don't know. It kind of makes me want to prep for the zombie apocalypse. I don't know what Josh is talking about. He's he's trolling. I'm telling you now. Hey, look, that's that um, newspaper that that. Um, hey, that's that newspaper. Is that that Charlie? Charlie is it Charlie Hebdo or something like that? Do you remember? Yeah, well, it all got shut up. Yeah. Yeah, but look at these. What are these? Don't know. A few of them. I think they might be original. They went up there as well. Yeah. They're all signed. Josh, what up? I didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing where? Upstairs. What do you mean upstairs? I didn't see nothing in that bit that you told me to go upstairs. I didn't see nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you troll me. I'm sorry. Yeah, Josh is trolling us again. I, I knew he was. Yo, but have you seen that? Yo, I'm watching this right now. I wow. Can't lie. This is the cleanest room in the house. Hi, Josh. Did you, did you see this taxidermy falcon? Yeah, I seen the falcon. How cool is that? It's really nice. <laughs> that is cool. Man. That's amazing. <laughs> That's worth a fair bit. I bet it is. Even without all taxidermy I know. stuff nowadays. I know it is. Especially old stuff like that. That is amazing. I'm going to get a close up on that. Don't say that. <laughs> I can't believe that massive falcon just sat there. I can't believe that. I've never found me a library yet. Yeah, I never thought I'd see that. That's really cool. It's, it's absolutely covered in spiders. If you can see that, spider webs, dead spiders. Are you trolling me? Where are you? Where are you? Yeah. <laughs> All day he's been trolling me. You're an, you're an ass, Josh. You're awesome. <laughs> you know, you've got to sleep near me tonight. Yeah. You've got to sleep near me. Watch I, your back. I didn't mean that. Watch your back, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I got him good. That picture there looks super old. Like, really old. Definitely Victorian. No, I'm really happy with this place. Yeah. I'm going to take another swoop on the bottom level because every time I walked through there, I saw something new. Like, Josh, did you see the big um, shield on the wall? Yeah, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, in the back. Yeah, yeah. With styrofoam. 
What was it? I touched it. Oh. Yeah, I, I was like the actually, red one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. It was like uh, orangey it's the, red. It's in the basement. I it's, guess the fireplace almost. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, it's a styrofoam. Oh I no! Shattered my dreams. Look how cool this is, bro. What did you find? Oh, it's a. Oh wow. Oh, you can make a car. I wonder how long it would take you to make that. Should we say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Time lapse you. What? It's a it's a castle model. Yeah. Oh wow. Huh. Yeah. All right. This is awesome. I'm more I'm more excited about this than anything. So I must have made it here. It seems like one of the kids who made it here. Look at that. Yeah. Smurf comics. Yeah, no, yeah, look at it. Yeah, the other bit of castle down there is falling off. He has a clown photo. <laughs> Jeez. Playmobile. What happened to the kids that were here? What else can happen here? This place is like seriously full of surprises. Yeah, the rest of it's just been pretty much trashed. I'm looking forward to getting back down to the bottom. Oh, wait, what's in that green box? Looks like a doll, maybe. They just keep dolls and stuff like that. <clears throat> Still do now, them chairs. Oh, wow, have you seen that belt? Yeah, I know, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is a little bit weird, actually. Have you seen how every room's got a little bathroom? So, this is uh, an attic space, but it actually looks just like there's so much stuff in here. This is probably where you'll find the rare gems. Some of this stuff's probably been here for over a hundred years. A lot of bird cages around, I keep seeing. I don't know why, but it, it's kind of the same shape and same door entry, I think, as the attic space on uh, on Beetlejuice. I don't know why I'm getting that vibe. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting that vibe. Kind, kind of weird, I know. So we're going to go down the spiral staircase. That's a random bathroom. Oh, it's blocked. I don't even know where this takes us. Oh, it's super tight. Oh, we're here. <laughs> I don't know where we are. Oh, yeah, the library. At this moment, I decided to get some photos, but what I'd taken the photo would surprise everyone. Some of you will have seen the live stream, and some of you would have seen the Instagram post. If you haven't, I suggest you go over and see it for much finer detail. But I was super shocked when I saw this, so I put it straight online to see what people think. I don't know. I don't know if it's a ghost or lens flare. I'll let you guys make up your own minds. Yeah, it's more. It's like kind of like a dungeon down here. No one takes more notice to this room. It's my favourite room. The vaulted ceilings, snooker table, swords. These lampshades look cool as hell. They look like Tesla coils. Uh, we got the fossil. Yeah. We got the shield over there. Like the lamps look like Tesla coils. How's it cool? Where's the holes? Oh yeah, good point. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me. Leave a comment below why is there no holes. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I really enjoyed this. I loved the swords. Um, whatever this is, it's got no holes. I'm not, I really think it's a snooker table. My favourite thing of all was that fossil over there. I can't believe there's a fossil here. And I can't believe we have to leave it behind. And that's when I come back to talking about having to leave things behind. Being a world adventurer 
an urban explorer, it constantly feels like you've got a battle going on inside. It feels like you've been torn apart because on one hand, you need to save this stuff. You, you can't let history like that be destroyed by vandals. And the second, you just want it to be left as it is for other explorers like, like me to find. It's such a hard thing. It's, hard, it's so hard to walk away from some of these. But who am I to, to take things? I don't have a right. These don't belong to me. And if I walk out of here with any possessions, it's instant burglary. I just hope no vandals find these. Well, saying bye to the Assassin's Creed mansion. It was a good one. And here is the main view of the mansion. This is right at the front. You saw that on that postcard. I mean, I just love it here. This woodland part. I would love to own something like this one day. And I can shoot you if I did. I wouldn't let it go to ruin. It's really peaceful. So if you haven't already, I'm going to repeat it, said at the beginning, if you haven't already, subscribe, click the bell, notify always, like the video if you've enjoyed it. And you're at all, hashtag team fighters, we're doing it, we're going worldwide, it's been a long time coming, we've been working at the channel for about two, over two years now, and finally, it's starting to pay off, we're getting to see proper things, I mean Romania was fun, Italy was fun, but things are getting better. What are you, what are you slackers doing? How'd you find the mansion? I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it, but I don't think anything's going to top what we've done today. Well, that's the problem. Don't compare it. Just visualise it for what it is. <laughs> and absorb the energy it's given off. Well, I had to dis right I distance myself from them because I knew I was going to end up hurting someone. <laughs> I get a bit too giddy with swords. <laughs> anyway, we're going to head towards an orphanage. It's about four hours away. Not sure if we're going to make it in time. This can be a risk against time. It's either that or a hotel. Four hours now, eh? Why is my thing saying? <laughs> <laughs> Are you seeing this? Right, try it again. Maybe it's the service out here. That's right, so we have a big problem. Uh, we ordered an Airbnb. Uh, the time is now uh, 22, it's 20 to 9. Uh, we've been driving for four, nearly four hours. We've got another two hours, well, an hour and 45 minutes to go. And the French lady phoned us up and said, they didn't have, we couldn't stay. They didn't, have a, they didn't have a room for us. So basically, they double booked. Um, I'm trying to phone Airbnb right now, Airbnb support. Uh, they couldn't understand us properly the first time. No, they could, they took all details. They took all the details. Speak, and then when, when we finally gave him all the details, he said, oh, we can't speak to you, on a different number. I'm trying to ring them back now, and there's no answer. We're pretty much stranded. Uh, have no idea what to do. We're not going to get another hotel at this time. Uh, I don't know what to do. Boys, we're, we're, we're sleeping in the car. In the car. <laughs> we're not sleeping in the car, we got this. All we got to do is just go get a room <laughs> hotel. Let's go find some. Take me to color. There's, there's, there's got to be a UK support number then. Let's ring the new UK support number. There's a reason why it's not going through. Hi, and thanks for calling Airbnb. We're looking forward to talking with you. Yeah, but I'm sure you are looking forward to talking to us. Oh, they pick up the first street. Get your card number. Thank you for calling Airbnb. This is Hennessy. Help me help you. Hi, uh, we've just been speaking to one of your colleagues about 10 minutes ago and they told us to phone back off uh, this number. We're, we're pretty much stranded. Uh, we, ordered, we booked an Airbnb about three hours ago and they've cancelled on us and we're now stranded in the middle of nowhere. And they took payment. And they took the payment. Check on that. Maybe please have your name so I can help you. Yep, it's Carl Hassel. Thank you, Carl. And also, is it okay if I give you a sorry. sorry. Um, so you're the guest here? Yes. <coughs> and this reservation will start. Today? Yep. Okay. So, what, all right, 
tree of coral. We've seen that this is in your only um, reservation. Yeah, it's here. my first one. Sorry. Yes, I can hear um, a lot of noises in the back. Yeah, yeah, we're stranded. We're, we're, we're in the middle of nowhere. You stop. Sorry. And you mentioned, yeah, you mentioned that you already have someone to assist you, right? But I'm not seeing anyone here. No, no, she just told us to call back because. We gave her all the information and she said, oh, you have to call back off the number that's registered on file. Right. <coughs> but before we proceed to that, can you provide me the email address that you're trying to Yeah, it's, it's DJ Villain. DJ D Villain. It's, sorry, it's DJ Villain. Yeah. At gmail.com. Thank you so much for the help about your phone number. Awesome, fine. Awesome. Thank you for that. And um, we also have the payment method that you use with Airbnb. <coughs> it was Visa debit card. Visa debit card. May I please have the last four digits of it? Shop no, we're, we're in the middle of nowhere at the side of the road, freezing, in France. waiting in France, not knowing where <coughs> to go. We've just been driving driving for almost right. four hours. I'm really sorry about it, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and contact your host right now. Okay, okay. they phoned us and they, don't, they speak very little in English. It's, she's French and oh, she she said that right. she said that um, there's no no room there. She said that we had to book two days in advance, but we booked it on Airbnb. We, it didn't say anything about two days in advance. Right, I understand. <coughs> if we need to cancel this reservation for you to get to the full refund. I mean, we're, 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 pa we're panicking now because we're, we're all sat, sat at the side of the road, not knowing what to do. And it's it's uh, we're, it's literally in the middle of nowhere. Do you have an internet connection at the moment? You can look for another uh, place. At this today. time, it's nine o'clock. In the meantime, it's nine o'clock here. Nine o'clock in the evening. Yeah, here we're an hour ahead of you in the UK. Right. Yeah, just tell us. <coughs> But don't worry, because for the hotel um, accommodation, we're gonna like cover. Okay. Uh, like fifty percent of it, yes. As long as you provide us receipt, okay. Well, so that, the, now, the problem um, is the problem is we've used we've we've used the money that we had, we we already paid, so we don't have any extra money. That's the problem. Because we're really panicking now. Because it, I, I think the nearest town is about fifty miles. Because we're in we're in the, in the middle of France, and no one speaks English here either. Okay. Right, no one speaks that. that. <coughs> oh my god. Okay, so It's it's on a, it's on and off because we're in the middle of nowhere. It's very broken. Right. Like, can you go a bit close to the town? 
well, the nearest town's 50 miles. Yeah, we've been driving through the wilderness for almost three hours. And you haven't heard from your host? Yeah, they, they fo she phoned us and said that she phoned us about 25 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, saying that we couldn't stay, that, that it was a mistake. And what well, we're. <laughs> Them again. Okay. To see if they can provide any uh, options for you guys, okay? Okay, great. I'll get back to you in a short while. Will you, will right? you call me on this number? I need to pop on the refund. Yes, I will call you on this number. It's actually on your profile. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Okay, I'll get back to you and I'll be sending you a message where you can communicate. Thank you. You, you will be our saviour. It's, it's life or death without yeah, you. I don't worry. I'll help you all throughout. Thank you so much. I don't want to die, Daddy. Um, okay. Thank you. No problem. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. If we got all you guys. Oh, my God. Hey, I, I told you I, I know how to lay it on thick. No, no. We'll good on the how phone. about? How about? We just keep driving that way because we'll carry yeah, together. We'll get a real don't, Yeah, but the, the, the thing I worry about is she? signal. The further we get out of here, yeah, it's going to be not. Yeah, we'll be here for like, oh, here we go. Let's just give it a chance. Yeah. I think we, we wait. Yeah. 15 Killing minutes. Killing waste of time. We wait 15, 15 minutes. We wait 15 minutes. They even give me well, some coupon stuff. Just keep, keep an eye on the form. Do you remember when we said it was a good idea this to get a coupon? I don't want to be stranded in the middle of France. No hotel. We, these four in a car. Especially Josh, he snores like hell. <laughs> we vibrating the windows. What do you guys think? Should we sleep in the car? No, no, right. No sleep. Right, what we do now, boys, is we go and hit up the orphanage at night, midnight. We leave there straight to the Castle Island. We'll arrive at the Castle Island for maybe five in the morning, sleep for a few hours in the car, and then get up and explore. All I heard was sleeping in the car. I'm not sleeping in the car. What's wrong with the dude? Oh, it's after. See. It's after. Um, we kind of scarred him after this summer road trip where we all crashed in the car. It was. It was horrendous. Was it horrendous? It was summertime. It was. It was sweating hot. And we were just stranded in the car. All slept in the car. Yeah, we couldn't find a hotel. Is this why every time I go on a trip with Josh, even to an amazing place like Acadia National Park, he wants to get a fucking hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> every yep. single night, even if it's just me and Josh, yep. he wants to get a hotel. Yeah, that yep. night screwed me forever. I swear. <laughs> that night screwed up my amazing experience to sleep by the beach. <laughs> right, we're just gonna have to go. We're just gonna have to start driving. I, I, don't, I don't know where it's gonna take us. Where we're gonna stay. But this is survival mode. We, I don't know what to do. Do we just drive through the night to the next location, which is another six hours away? I don't know. He wants to help you find another place. What? 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 Hang on, hang on. So I'm they're not even give, so they're not even fucking giving me a refund. Wait. No, they've no, given you. Yeah, you get your refund back. Hang on, Carl. I've got your account up here. Just wait. Okay, bro. so. Carl just got a message. He's been, been given a refund. Okay, that's all good. If we could find another place, but they've given us to help us find another place a whopping four pound eighty. What does four pound eighty like convert to dollars? Six dollars. What the? F yeah. What? Bro, that's gonna Bro. ease the pain of sleeping in the car tonight, isn't it, Josh? Look, no one, and I repeat, no one is sleeping in the car tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, they've said they'll offer me four pound thirty one extra. It's so a booking in place or a full refund. Well, of course I'm going to want the full refund to pay like What kind of obvious what? Yeah, stupid question get the full refund is let's go. that? For a new spot. What? Bro, how do I claim a refund back? Let's get that claim. Let's I'm on your account now. You, can't, you, so you it, basically can't do so anything. So Airbnb is going to leave us stranded. Click the bell. Click, click the bell button for the refund. <laughs> yeah. oh, Nothing at all. So what, what, what are we going to do? So if you could, if you could find a hotel nearby um, uh, for you guys to stay, we will um, cover the 50% of the um, 
accommodation rate of that hotel. But but there, there's no hotels nearby. And how do we pay for it? That, that's the problem. And, they want me to provide. And, provide. Be, and because the money's not going to go in the account until up to 15 days, it says. And my friend's having a panic attack. Hello? Yes, I'm still here, um, Cara. So, uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, find you a property? Well, I think we're going to sleep in the car and just try and stay warm. <laughs> I mean, that will be really hard for you guys. I know, but it's not looking like we have an option. Uh, uh, can I, uh, um, I guess we'll send a link to you. Okay. Link of the property that I'm seeing right now, yes. Can you see if, uh, it can be, uh, it's possible to, uh, go to that place? Oh. It's not very far. Okay, I'll check it. I'll, I'll have to check it when I come off the phone because it won't let me look at it. Okay, let me go ahead and send those things. Okay. okay. So you will see. Alright. You can hang up now. Okay, goodbye. Maybe the last time.